Hi, this is Jared Walton with Tom's Hardware, and I'm getting ready to test the absolutely <laughs> gargantuan Asus ROG Astral, what is it, RTX 5090 OC. I don't know if I've got all the name right, but it is just a massive card. This is my PCAT device here which measures power. It's made by NVIDIA, but it just measures power. There's a card underneath there to read the PCI Express slot power. And that means you can't really use a regular case. So I have this open test bed, which this card is so huge, I have to use a support stand, this one from MSI, to prop up the back of the card. Otherwise, it would just totally fall over. Uh, there's a fan on the back side. And because I'm using the PCAT and I swap cards so often, I use the adapter. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that for a typical build, but because I'm a tester of hardware, I would rather wear these connectors out than to be pulling this out and putting it back in using like a straight 16 pin cable. You know, like one of these jobbies. And they're kind of stiff, whereas these are a little bit more flexible. Anyway, that's not super important. This is a 1500 watt power supply, Corsair HX 1500i. So it's a high quality power supply. I think it's 80 plus platinum. I could be wrong. Is it platinum or titanium? I don't see. Anyway, that's the test bed. Reasonably quiet. The CPU cooler does make a bit of noise. This is actually to cool down the SSD because there's no airflow generally otherwise. And that SSD, if you're doing a lot of writes, which I have done before, can overheat. Anyway, I'm going to be seeing about testing it. Incidentally, this card, I believe, weighs about three kilog kilograms. I've got the exact numbers that I'll put up in our review once that goes live, but... It is absolutely huge. And it's only a dual slot IO bracket. So it's a quad slot card with a dual slot IO bracket. Kind of weird to do that. Maybe there's reasons for it, but you're gonna need a huge case for this anyway, which should mean you have four slots available. So I would rather have a four slot IO bracket, honestly. That's it for this video. Quad slot, three kilogram, 6.6 .6 pound graphics card from Asus. Can you find it in stock? No. When will you be able to find it in stock? I don't know. Could be weeks, could be months. I'm sure they're making more of these, but supply is far outstripped by demand right now. We had, I guess it was two or three months really of no new graphics cards at the high end. The problem with that was NVIDIA, I still think they were planning on launching the RTX 50 series back in the fall. That's what their cadence was. It got delayed because of Blackwell data center chip problems. They had packaging problems, lost a lot of chips and wafers as far as we can tell. And what that did was they had to recreate those wafers because those are going into, I don't know, 50,000, 60,000, 80,000, 100,000 dollar GPUs. NVIDIA hasn't given an exact price. There's a price out there that says an NV72L rack with 72 Blackwell B200 GPUs. And those are configured in 18 1U racks with the NVLink racks in between them. Or, or things in between them, each of those would have two Grace CPUs and four B200 GPUs. And each of those B200 GPUs is two full reticle dies, like 814 millimeters squared, something like that. Big dies. So you only get up to maybe 60 GPUs per wafer from TSMC. And there are tens of thousands of orders for B200 GPUs outstanding. Like the backlog is apparently 15 months is what I've heard. So 
anyway, $3 million I've seen as a price for the NV72L. I, I don't think that's accurate. I don't know what the actual going rate is. Maybe it's $3 million if you're Microsoft or Amazon and you're buying tons of them, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's gone up quite a bit. I could see it easily being double or triple that amount because when you look at the prior generation Hopper and what they were charging, uh, $400,000 for a DGX or HGX rack server that had maybe eight GPUs, uh, that's 50,000-ish per GPU. It's, it's gonna be less than that because you still have the rest of the server, but that gives you a ballpark. And those GPUs were single die. So moving to two dies per GPU would be more expensive. And Nvidia doesn't have a reason to give massive discounts right now. Let's just be real about that. So anyway, Blackwell B200 gets pushed back because of packaging problems. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna launch 50 series on time? but delay the, the data center part? Probably not. So the net result is they have to do a bunch more wafers for Blackwell B200. And that pushes back the consumer parts. So because Blackwell and Ada and Hopper all use TSMC's same production facilities, I mean, it's TSMC 4N for Hopper and Ada, and it's TSMC 4NP for the Blackwell B200, that's the GB200 graphics Blackwell 200 chip, not the Grace Blackwell 200 super chip. Um, and then the Blackwell consumer stuff is also on TSMC's 4N, same as Ada and Hopper. Well, they're all using five nanometer tech from TSMC, tweaked in ways to make it more appropriate for what NVIDIA wanted to do. So there's only so many wafers TSMC makes in a month. And if NVIDIA needs to do 50,000 more Blackwell B200 wafers, I don't know that's the number, but let's say they did. That means probably a, a couple months delay for Blackwell RTX. That's kind of what I believe has happened. It's kind of weird looking at myself in this camera. I keep on looking at the wrong spot. Anyway, the point being the GPUs are now coming out, but there's a huge backlog because we had all of the ADA RTX 4090 and 4080 and even 4070 Ti Super, 4070 Ti was already kind of discontinued all the way down to pretty much the 4070. Those all sold out by December. I mean, mostly sold out. There are cards available, but their prices skyrocketed. AMD's cards sold out. The 7900 XT used to be going for like $650. It's now over $1,000 if you want to buy one because it's pretty much discontinued. We're waiting on the 9070, 9070 XT. And what that means is there's two months, three months of backlog of people who wanted to buy an extreme or a high-end GPU that couldn't do it. And so now Blackwell comes out, but you've got potentially hundreds of thousands of people that want to upgrade worldwide, maybe even over a million. I don't know what the exact number would be. I don't know how many cards NVIDIA has shipped. It's not zero. People are calling this a paper launch. I think we had an article calling it a paper launch. Is it? I don't know. The only people who would really know would be NVIDIA. Like, did they ship 5,000 5090s, 10,000, 20,000? I don't know. I couldn't say. We know from some sleuthing that all of the, uh, what's it called? All of the micro center locations apparently only had 233 5090 cards for launch. That's, that's what it was found out to be by some Redditors. I don't know if that's fully accurate and I don't know how many they've received since then, but that's a very small number. But that doesn't count, that doesn't include Best Buy, Amazon, Newegg, BH Photo, or any of the overseas places. So worldwide, it could still easily be tens of thousands of 5090 GPUs and maybe even 100,000 5080 GPUs. Even if it was that many, it wasn't enough. Because like I said, there was potentially hundreds of thousands or even a million or more people waiting for a new NVIDIA GPU, ready to pay for it. So 
we've got 50, 90 cards for review. You can't really buy them. Prices are skyrocketed. eBay scalpers are trying to sell them for five, six thousand dollars $6,000, sometimes more. The Asus card that I've got here, the Astral OC, is a $30.99 MSRP. 50% more, over 50%, what is that, 55% more than NVIDIA's official MSRP. And I don't know how much NVIDIA gets from Asus when they sell them the GPU and the memory and whatever else Asus buys from NVIDIA. Maybe the margins are super thin even on a 5090 at MSRP. But certainly the margins on an Astral at $3,100 are not small. They're going to be much better. And they're still selling out. So Asus could reduce the MSRP and the retailers would just mark it up. Anyway, that's where we're at. Review coming as soon as I'm able to get it done. We've got 5070, 9070, 9070 XT all coming in March is the word on the street. So, and my dog wants me to get off the phone, apparently. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. We'll see you next time.